The consulting industry has been completely disrupted and most consultants don't even realize it yet. And that is a huge opportunity for AI enthusiasts like you and me. If you're watching this, there's a pretty good chance that you either have been or will be soon an AI consultant or coach. I've been coaching folks on how to use AI for a little over two years now, starting pretty much right after ChatGPT launched. And the biggest shock to me in that time was that keeping up with the new technology was not by any means the hardest part. The real challenge was actually getting my clients to implement these powerful new technologies. Today I'm going to show you a five-stage system that solves this problem once and for all. We'll start with how to do some powerful high-end consulting level research, but then we're going to focus on how to deliver it in a compelling way that stakeholders have to take action on. But this isn't just for consultants. No matter what your position is, the ability to do quick, in-depth research and deliver it in an impactful way is one of the most valuable skill sets you can build these days. Here's the reality. When I coach organizations through an AI transformation, I've noticed a very frustrating pattern. Teaching people the technical stuff was easy, but getting them to actually use it and actually implement it, now that's pretty hard. And if they don't implement it, they don't renew their contracts. And if they don't renew their contracts, I can't afford puppy food and my little puppy goes hungry. And nobody wants that, right? So this is exactly what we're gonna tackle today, bridging the gap between having these powerful insights and actually getting your clients or your team to take action on them. The pyramid principle methodology was developed many decades ago by an all-star McKinsey consultant named Barbara Minto. This has been the gold standard for consultant communication for decades, and now AI can supercharge every step of it. Here's our roadmap, we'll start with a quick review of how to do in-depth research fast. Then I'll walk you through all five stages of the pyramid principle with real prompts that scale into a system that gets you results every single time. But first, let's take a look at this problem in detail. And for that, I'm gonna jump right into the cheat sheet. I create a cheat sheet like this for every single video that I make. And these are all instantly accessible to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's a link in the description. If you're interested in that, check it out. So we're gonna jump right down here into understanding this AI enhanced pyramid principle. And the problems that this really seeks to address are very important problems, inefficient communication. So if you've ever been in the consulting or coaching uh, role, you can understand that conveying an complex analysis and recommendations to executives who have limited time and want to quickly understand key messages without wading through excessive detail is a major challenge. These folks are so busy and oftentimes you are the lowest priority on the list and for you to be effective you need to really be able to communicate clearly and structure your thinking so that's the next bullet point here is you know being able to create messaging that grabs them that um, you know shows them that hey what you're talking about is a high priority that they need to take action on and that's really the only way that you can be effective because if you just present them with something that they look at you know maybe they're staring at their phone during your presentation I've had that happen to me Unfortunately, um, you know, you're not being effective. You're not going to get your contract renewed and your coaching and consulting services will certainly struggle. The other thing here is misalignment with executive thinking. So, uh, you know, they may disagree with what you found. It may not be what they want to hear. It may be something that is going to cause them to do a lot more work, etc. So they may be actively trying to block or, you know, ignore what you're saying. And even if one of the stakeholders Holders is invested, you got to get a bunch of people invested oftentimes to be effective. So the pyramid principle solves these problems in a lot of different ways. It allows you to take all the information that you've gathered with AI and really craft it in a very penetrating way so it gets right through into the brains of these stakeholders, the folks that you've created it for, and therefore progresses your project forward. This includes presenting it in a logical structure, making efficient use of time, and enhancing the persuasiveness of how you deliver your results. Of course, AI is incredibly valuable throughout this process, allowing you to do this in a faster, more accurate, more consistent way than ever before, and pro probably most importantly, in a scalable way that allows you to tackle more complex projects and more projects in general. So now let's dive right into one of my favorite use cases for AI. This is deep research for consultants, and I've created a couple videos on this topic. I'll link to those in the description. 
But the quick and dirty of it is that you're going to use a tool called Deep Research. Google's Gemini, OpenAI's ChatGPT, and Perplexity all offer this Deep Research. Here's where it lives in Gemini right here. Here's where you access it in ChatGPT. And in perplexity, it's right here. These days, the Gemini version is absolutely the best. And if you're serious about this stuff, that's the one that you wanna use. Second to that, ChatGPT's version is not that bad. Perplexities, unfortunately, is cool and it's helpful, but it's nowhere near the capabilities of these other two tools that can search many, many more different sources uh, and compile much richer research reports. This deep research functionality takes your requests and goes out and does about 20 minutes of research, sometimes even more, looking at all different sites and cross-referencing them, creating a really long report. These are often over 30 pages. I've had them go as much as 100 pages. That's the example we're going to look at today. So when you're making these requests, you want to be as specific as possible. And that's where this meta prompt comes in very helpful. We're going to use a prompt to actually create the prompt that we are going to put into these deep research tools. Here's the example of that prompt. I'm going to grab it from the cheat sheet right here. I'm going to copy this right into Google's Gemini. And I'm not going to, and I'm not going to use deep research just yet. We're just gonna create the prompt first that we are going to use for deep research. And here's what this meta prompt says. It says, can you help me create a very detailed prompt I can use for doing some deep research into launching an EV rental business that helps echo-minded individuals rent electric vehicles? The output of this prompt should yield a McKinsey style report. That's critical. We wanna tell it, hey, we're a consultant and we're gonna be using this as part of our uh, work. And the result here is this McKinsey style report. McKinsey, if you don't know, one of the highest, uh, most well-renowned consulting firms out there. And this report is going to help my client launch this business. I'm interested in unique perspectives, but wanna have some focus on actual data and hard evidence for the findings. Again, your goal is just to create a highly detailed prompt. And we'll let that run, and it's gonna create a highly detailed prompt that often runs several pages. Here's what that prompt looks like. It returned this prompt that goes on and on and on and on and on here, letting us know all of the different things that we need in this report for it to be effective. Look at that, it goes on and on. So I'm just gonna grab all of that. I'm gonna copy that in, open a new chat string, drop that in and click deep research. And now we are ready to go. And this prompt now describes in detail exactly what we need to have in our report. So we'll let this run. I've noticed that sometimes Gemini will want to jump right to creating a deep research project from that meta prompt, but there's always a little button that says, hey, don't use deep research just yet. That's my recommendation. Go through these steps so you can give it this uh, extreme guidance that helps you get a better result in the end. Now it returns its plan of attack here and shows you what it's trying to do. So you can look that over and then just click start research. So that deep research project took about 30 minutes, a little more, and it returned this amazing report that is over 100 pages, 108 pages. Now, what busy executive is gonna sit down and read every word of that 108 pages? If I was a betting man, I would say zero chance of that happening. So what we need to do now is move into our pyramid principle, take this and break it down into some actionable, compelling arguments that we can present to the client. Like I mentioned, I've got a couple other videos that go into this in more detail, especially how you can add some graphs and add some uh, other bells and whistles to these reports and make them incredibly effective, including how to turn them into microsites that you can share with with your client. There's links to those videos in the description, so check those out if you haven't already. The first stage of the pyramid principle is this main message development. But before we get to that, I love to use Notebook LM to just kind of get a feel for what's going on in this document. I'm gonna create a new notebook here. This is simply notebooklm.google.com. I've got a bunch of great videos on this tool if you haven't used it yet. I'm gonna click over here into the sources section. I'm gonna add a source and I'm gonna choose that file that we just created, that lengthy report, and it is pulling it here into Notebook LM, which is a great tool for dissecting these large documents and looking at them from different angles. And the place I like to start here is with this mind map feature. So if you just click on that mind map, 
This is gonna give us a quick visual view of this entire document. It's got that done here. Let's click this and we can see this has now opened up all of these different areas so we can quickly get a feel for what's going on in this massive document. We can click deeper and deeper and deeper into this document and start to understand what's going on here using this visual interactive mind map, which is a great way to get your mind wrapped around these deep research projects, which generate so much information or really any project. You can upload full books into Notebook LM and do a similar process on them. And now I'm gonna just grab this prompt right here that says, help me create a compelling message that follows the following structure. I'm gonna copy that into Notebook LM. And I'm gonna run this same process in tandem here in Gemini so we can see how these results differ because I think there's gonna be some advantages to doing um, this pyramid principle inside of Notebook LM. And I think there's gonna be some advantages of doing it here in Gemini. So I'm adding that file here in Gemini and I'm pasting that same prompt in. Here's what Notebook LM returned, a very pithy, concise, summary of what's going on with this report, including the situation, the complication, the question at hand, the answer to that question, and some supporting um, ideas around that answer. Now let's see how Gemini did. Awesome. Gemini pulled some fairly similar results, but I gotta say the Notebook LM answer was more robust as it included these uh, supporting arguments. And you can already see how presenting that to your client is gonna be much more effective than just dumping that 100 page document on them. Even though it has that executive summary, uh, this is still a better way to go. There's a lot in this cheat sheet, but I'm gonna try to keep this video rather short and sweet, and we're gonna move on to stage two, intelligent argument structuring. So we're gonna say, please review this argument structure for MECE compliance. And get your main messages, your arguments, checking for overlapping arguments and logical gaps between the arguments. Grab this, I'm gonna drop this into Notebook LM and Gemini. And if you're not familiar with MECE, it stands for Mutually Exclusive and Collectively Exhaustive. It's a problem structuring principle used in consulting and other fields to organize information into logical, non-overlapping categories. And Notebook LM has absolutely crushed it by taking its last response and reanalyzing it, making sure that these arguments were very strong, that there was no overlap, and that together they covered all of the bases of this document. And this ensures that our messaging is both mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. Unfortunately, Gemini is having a little bit of trouble with this. I'm a little bit surprised. You may want to try this not in the 2.5 Flash, but in this 2.5 Pro, which is what I'm going to do. So I just switched to 2.5 Pro. I've uploaded that document again. I'm going to add that first prompt, rerun this whole thing. And now I'm running that second prompt again, that M-E-C-E. -E. But I'm surprised because Notebook LM is actually outperforming Gemini 2.5 Pro when it comes to this pyramid principles process. This response, however, looks much better than the first one, and it is now making some very compelling arguments. On to stage three, evidence collection and validation. This step is absolutely critical as it takes those concise arguments and backs them up with data and other insights. I'm grabbing this prompt, dropping it here into Notebook LM, as well as Gemini. And this is basically just asking the large language model to add this source data to these different arguments to make them even more compelling. And here inside of Notebook LM, it has gathered up all sorts of data to really hammer those uh, arguments home. Jim and I performed similarly here with very similar arguments. And this is critical when we're working with AI to help protect us from those hallucinations that the LLMs can create working their way into our projects and into what we present to a client, which can be a number one way to get fired is by, you know, making different, um, recommendations based on LLM hallucinations. So pulling in this data is uh, a crucial step. Awesome, and now moving into stage four, we're gonna take everything that we've done so far and create compelling presentations that really drive home the decision-making for these stakeholders. And I'm grabbing this prompt that says, please create slides for this section, including the section name, key message, supporting evidence, and audience. For each slide, include a title that captures the key message, the uh, content structure, bullet points, narrative, etc., visual element recommendations, and speaking notes for key transitions. 
Let's drop that into Notebook LM as well as Gemini. I feel like this is the one where Gemini is going to shine. So you may wanna do all of those first three steps in Notebook LM and then take all of that and pull it into Gemini for the final slide presentation. Claude would be another great fit for this type of thing as Claude really excels at uh, you know, creating sales copy and any sort of you know, storytelling, descriptive messaging. Claude is, uh, I would say, a little bit better than Gemini. I, not necessarily worth you know, completely uh, going that direction unless you already use Claude, which is a fantastic tool, uh, but it can be a little better in that area. And just as I expected, Notebook LM did not do great at this. It's got some good ideas here. Uh, overall, not too bad, but these are like way too long for um, a slide where Jim and I really crushed it here with some key messaging just to kind of kick it off and copy for four different slides that really hammer home uh, this 100 page report. So taking that 108 pages of deep research and narrowing it down into this very tight, informative, persuasive four slides with a handful of bullets each. Pretty valuable stuff here. Next, I'm gonna take this, grab this and copy it into Gamma. So if you haven't used Gamma yet, this is the number one tool for taking what you've created in uh, AI and creating beautiful slides with it. If you haven't tried Gamma, you definitely want to check it out. I'm not sponsored by Gamma or any of the tools that I talk about on this video or any of the videos. These are just the tools I find to work the best. Uh, Gamma has really improved in the past several months. Once we're in Gamma, we're gonna create new, we're gonna paste in text, which is the really killer feature that they just came up with because before it tried to create all of the copy and everything and it usually took whatever you spent all that time in Gemini creating and sort of made a mess of it. Now we're just gonna paste in everything from that uh, you know, response that we got out of Gemini presentation mode, traditional slides, and we're gonna say preserve this exact text. I'm gonna actually modify this real quickly here in Gemini so we have the exact text we want to appear in the slides uh, to uh, send that over to Gamma directly. I'm just saying, can you simply return verbatim the slide copy only? If I don't say verbatim, it will oftentimes degrade and return something that's not quite as good as that previous response. And there we go, copying this into Gamma. I've got this preserve exact text text right here and in this section you can pick a theme you can even upload your own brand colors or the clients colors you can go crazy with it you can pick out all the different types of ways you want AI to uh, create the images if you want a cartoon look illustrated look or photographs you can go wild with it it's really cool this shuffle theme is pretty cool just kind of grabs a, a wildly different theme. We'll hit that a couple times and now we'll generate. I love watching this stuff work. Look at how sweet that is. This is exactly from our report for killer, highly professional slides. There's only one thing I noticed. This image is a little bit goofy. I'm just gonna re-roll it, ask it to generate it again. And there we go. This looks client ready to me, but there's one more step in the pyramid principle. Stage five in this process revolves all around client communication. So once you deliver this to them, they're obviously gonna have to discuss internally and get back with you. This stage helps you to stay top of mind while you're continuing to deliver value to the client because let's face it, it all comes down to client communication. These AI tools are super duper powerful, but if you are not effectively getting your client to take action on what you create, you are not gonna have a very successful consulting service. There is a ton more in the cheat sheet that goes into these. That was just uh, half of the basic workflow. There's an entire advanced implementation section, quality assurance framework. This is a 35 page cheat sheet, including scaling your AI enhanced practice and more. These are all instantly accessible to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's over 140 in there now. There's a link in the description if that is interesting to you. But here's one of my other videos all about using Gemini's deep research to kickstart your consulting or your coaching practice. Take a look at that. I'll see you over there. Make your dreams come true.